Alright, let's dive into the TPU versus GPU wars, because if you care about AI and machine learning, this is one hardware battle you need to know about. So what's the difference? NVIDIA dominates the GPU space, holding about 85-90% to 90 of the AI data center market. GPUs think GeForce RTX started out powering gaming graphics but their parallel architecture made them perfect for deep learning, scientific computing, and even your favorite AI models. On the other side, Google's TPUs were built from the ground up for AI. These chips are specialized for machine learning, especially those big tensor operations that power deep learning. You'll mostly find them in Google Cloud so if you're using their AI tools, you're already part of the TPU revolution. Now performance. TPUs can actually outpace GPUs on models tailored to their design. They're also more energy efficient delivering more AI muscle per watt. If you're running massive training jobs, that means lower energy bills and less heat to deal with. For scaling up, NVIDIA relies on NVLink and NVS Switch for connecting multiple GPUs. Google uses their own high-speed connections Interchip Interconnect and Lightwave Fabrics to link TPUs in giant pods. But here's the catch, GPUs are versatile. They power everything from video games to scientific simulations and the SUDA ecosystem is massive. TPUs, laser focused. They're amazing for deep learning but not built for general computing. Both sides are innovating fast NVIDIA with Blackwell and H200 GPUs, Google with Trillium and Ironwood TPUs. Tools like TensorFlow and PyTorch are now supported on both platforms so you're not locked in. Bottom line, there's no single winner. GPUs offer flexibility and a huge ecosystem. TPUs deliver specialized, efficient, and cost-effective power for deep learning, especially on Google Cloud. The future? Hybrid, multi-vendor AI setups. If you learned something new, hit subscribe for more deep dives like this. Got questions or want to know more about AI hardware? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'm always looking for the next topic to unpack.